So there are a lot of similarities between threads and processes. One difference between threads and processes is that when you create a thread, it doesn't remember the creating thread. It doesn't, the creating thread, it doesn't become a parent of the created thread. There's no parent child. And a consequence of that is that uh, any thread can wait for any other thread to, to finish. Threads are all peers. The main thread is only a little bit special. Um, it's special because it's the one that was called to run main. So if it returns from main, that exits the whole process. It also turns out that if you send a signal to a process, the signal handler has to be run in some thread, and it'll be run in that main thread. So let's try one more example that, that illustrates this. Here I, uh, I have a go1 and a go2 function. I'm going to create two threads, one and two, each running go1 and go2. But uh, the value that I send to the second thread is going to be the identity of the first thread. And that uh, second thread is going to wait for the first thread to complete before it prints. Um, and then the main process just waits for the second thread to complete. So this isn't the sort of thing you could do with fork. You, if you created a second child process, it can't do a wait PID on the first process, even if it had the process ID, um, because only the parent can do that. But threads don't have this hierarchy. So let's try this example. And what we should see is 1 and 2 printed out in that order. So there we go, 1 and 2 in that order. That means that the second thread successfully waited on the first. If I take this uh, join out, then we'll see that the first and second threads, um, it's not, there's no guaranteed order in fact. There's no, it's not necessary. It's not uh, guaranteed that the first thread will even get a chance to do its work uh, before finishing because no one's waiting on it. On the other hand, if we wait on both of these threads, Um, then we get 2 and 1, and we get 2 and 1 in that order because of the sleep here. If we take the sleep out, then I bet we sometimes get 2, 1, and if we try it often enough, maybe we'll get 1, 2. Let's see if we can get our mini times function back. So many times says we can get 2, 1, or we can get 1, 2. Again, threads are like processes in that if there's nothing that forces a synchronization between them, they can run in any order and get leaved in, interleaved in any ways.